So the purpose of the impact evaluation is to assess the impact of M nutrition on the nutritional well-being of children and adults. To explain a little bit more what M nutrition is, so M nutrition is a global initiative organized by GSMA, a trade body that uh, represents the interests of uh, mobile phone operators internationally, supported by DFID and implemented within the different countries by the local mobile phone network operators. M Nutrition provides mobile phone based advisory services, mainly using mobile phone messages aiming to, with the aim of improving the nutritional well-being and changing behavior related to nutrition, childcare practices and agriculture. M Nutrition is implemented in the different countries to existing M health or M agricultural products. It's at the moment implemented in several countries in Sub-Saharan Africa and in South Asia. The impact team, or the evaluation team, consists of IDS, IFPRI and GAMOS and we set out to rigorously evaluate the impact of M Nutrition in two countries. We look at Tanzania, where M Nutrition is implemented to an existing M Health program, and at Ghana, where M Nutrition is implemented to an existing M Agriculture program. So, child undernutrition remains a pressing challenge in many countries in the world, including Ghana and Tanzania. And the idea of M Nutrition is to provide information, to raise awareness, to change attitude, and ultimately to change behavior towards better nutrition behavior and also better agricultural practices. To explain a little bit more about the two countries, so in Ghana, currently 19% um, of children are stunted, too um, short for their age, and 5% are wasted, they are too light for their height. And uh, this is particularly, uh, the, the undernutrition is particularly high in rural areas and in northern Ghana, the focus of our impact evaluation. In Ghana, M Nutrition is implemented via an existing um, um, agriculture program, Vodafone Pharma Club. Farmer Club targets particular smallholder farmers, which account for 80% of the agricultural production in Ghana. And smallholder farming faces many challenges in Ghana, in particular very low productivity and very low um, agricultural income, which of course then have an impact on the socioeconomic well-being of agricultural households and also on the nutritional status of the households. So the M Agriculture um, program or um, Vodafone Farmer Club aims to uh, provide agricultural advice to smallholder farmers, especially in areas where agricultural extension workers or agricultural extension services are very limited or communities see agricultural extension workers very infrequently. So the M Agriculture platform aims to address this gap and in, the, in our evaluation, it is combined with a nutrition program to provide additional uh, nutritional information. In Tanzania, um, almost 35% of children under the age of 5 years are stunted and 4% are wasted. As in Ghana, children in rural areas are worse off than in urban areas. Suboptimal breastfeeding practices, especially late initiation and non-exclusive breastfeeding, and also poor complementary feeding practices, in particular with regards to dietary diversity and meal frequency, are some of the immediate causes for the persistent high levels of child undernutrition in Tanzania that the M Nutrition um, Initiative tries to address. In Tanzania, M Nutrition is combined with an existing M Health program, Healthy Pregnancy, a Healthy Baby, which is run by Vasazi Nipendeni, and which provides a mobile phone based advice during pregnancy and early childhood. And this is combined with the M Nutrition platform to provide um, information about diet during pregnancy, um, early. Um, child feeding practices, in particular breastfeeding and complementary feeding advice. So
So we decided to use a mixed method approach for the impact evaluation consisting of three components. The quantitative component uses an experimental design, a randomized control trial in Tanzania, which has the primary outcomes of interest um, of the M nutrition intervention um, A, infant and young child feeding practices, B, women's dietary diversity, and C, anthropometric status, so nutritional status of children. Um, in Ghana, we used a randomized encouragement design with the primary outcomes of household and women's dietary diversity, agricultural income and agricultural productivity. The experimental designs were chosen depending on the context and the, the rollout of the M Nutrition platform within the different countries. The quantitative component is combined with three, compo with three qualitative data collection rounds in each of the two countries. Um, the qualitative work tries to get a deep in contextual understanding, tries to explain the pathways of behavior change triggered by the M Nutrition um, initiative and also explains or tries to explain and explore which components of the M Nutrition um, initiative are effective, for whom are they effective, in which, uh, com in which context and in which circumstances they are effective. And the third component consists of a cost effectiveness and business model evaluation to assess the commercial viability of the M Nutrition um, initiative for the mobile phone operator.